Civil engineering is a designing and the implementation of the structure, transport systems, water supply networks, developing roads and buildings, bridges, canals, sewage systems, pipelines, tunnels and railways. Civil engineers are responsible for the all aspects of building structures like planning, design, construction management, surveying, analysis and the budgeting. Civil engineers should expert in all these specifications. Civil engineering should cover the topics of mechanics, critical analysis, hydraulics, geotechnical engineering, transportation, and it covers the software skills to implement the designs and structures. What is a civil engineer? A civil engineer is responsible for using their civil engineering background to plan and oversee various construction efforts in many different areas of this field. They will apply civil engineering principles to ensure that structures are constructed in the safest, sturdiest manner. Civil engineering is someone who designs and supervises large construction projects, roads, buildings, airports, tunnels, dams, bridges, and systems for water supply and sewage treatment. A subset of civil engineering is geotechnical engineering, and it is one of the specializations within civil engineering that involves investigating and understanding what lies beneath the ground surface. What are the responsibilities of civil engineer? The most important responsibility is to analyze the site location and the surrounding area. This includes a search and investigation, verifying its feasibility for construction purposes. Design a plan, outlining the key variables and what needs to be changed prior to the construction. The role and responsibility of civil engineer is to develop a detailed design layout, keeping the requirements of the client in mind. The design and any subsequent reports need to be reviewed and approved and any potential risks and challenges of the project identified. The civil engineer must inspect the product to ensure that all rules, regulations and guidelines have been explicitly followed. A civil engineer must use many different equations, applications and figures to ensure the proper procedure application. The civil engineer must also be certain to follow land use laws and regulations every step of the way. The civil engineer will follow the project from start to finish and make any necessary changes along the way. They will ensure that procedure is being followed and check on safety features of the project during the time it is being completed. What are the responsibilities of a construction manager? Coordinate with project manager and administer efficient working of construction process and monitor life cycle of all projects and prepare all project controls and update as per requirement and document all processes. Manage and plan a construction project. Design the hydraulic systems and project structures. Survey construction site, give a description about how we'd like to complete the project and its consequences. Liaise with federal entities, environmental agencies and local authorities on the implications of the construction. Ensure the site sanitation and cleanliness. Juniors are helped with appropriate information related to construction. Address the concerns of the workers and advise them on the subject of the construction process. Solve the construction problems efficiently. Inform their employer about the progress in construction. Conduct a study on the site of construction. Provide quality control and quality assurance to make sure that the purposes of the project are achieved. Make sure that the entire safety rules related to construction work are observed. Obtain the materials required for construction and check them. Manage and ensure all materials in compliance with required quality for all projects and prepare reports for all final project turnover and maintain records of all construction procedures and prepare progress reports for same. What is the meaning of concrete? Concrete is a composite material or the building material. Concrete is a composed of coarse and fine aggregate bonded with the cement paste that hardens over time and the process of manufacturing concrete are batching, mixing, 
transporting, placing, compacting, curing and finishing. What is the soil reinforcement? Soil reinforcement is used to improve the soil strength by adding some ingredients to the soil. And it improves the loading capacity of soil. For example, for the weak clay soil to add the lime to this soil it improves the soil bearing capacity. This type of adding lime into soil is mainly used in the road basin highway construction. By adding the composite webbing layer or installing plastic to soil it also improves soil strength. This type of method is used in steep roadway embankments. How do you measure concrete? Concrete is measured in cubic feet, cubic yards, cubic meter. What is a kip? One kip equals 1000 pounds. Where kip equals kilo pound. Ibs equals pound, mass, or, pound. What is the distance between railway tracks? The distance between the railway tracks is 4 feet 8 half inches or 1435 millimeters in standard gauge. What is moment of inertia? Moment of inertia is also known as rotational inertia or angular mass. The moment of inertia is defined as the product of area and the square of the distance of the center of gravity of the area from an axis. It is denoted by I. How do you maintain water pressure? To maintain the water pressure it is not effect due to the flow in line. To reduce the pressure by using the friction it controls the water pressure. To increase the water pressure, reduce friction by increase line size it eliminate other restrictions. How long does it take concrete to harden? Concrete takes 28 days to curing. What is the quantity of cement used in M20 concrete? For the normal cement consumption for M25 grade concrete is 570 kg per cum. And for the M20 grade of concrete cement consumption is optimized to 510 kg per cum. What are the functions of column in buildings? Columns are used to support weight of the upper part or slab. Column is a vertical member which takes the total load of the beam and slab. What are the uses of alloys in daily life and how are alloys made? Alloy is a metal which is combined of melting two or more metals. The examples of alloys are stainless steel, brass, duralumin, pewter, tools, jewelries and bronze. Alloys give the properties of good conductivity and high strength. Every metal we used in our daily life is an alloy. What are the uses of alloys in daily life and how are alloys made? Alloy is a metal which is combined of melting two or more metals. The examples of alloys are stainless steel, brass, duralumin, pewter, tools, jewelries and bronze. Alloys give the properties of good conductivity and high strength. Every metal we used in our daily life is an alloy. What is the difference between absorption, adsorption and sorption? Absorption is the surface phenomenon. Absorption is a fast process. It attains equilibrium easily. Absorption depends on surface area of the adsorbent. Adsorption is the bulk phenomenon. Adsorption is a slow process. Absorption attains equilibrium take time. Adsorption is not depends on the surface area of the adsorbent. Sometimes the adsorbate dissolves into adsorbent. Initially the adsorbate appears on the surface of adsorbent and later passes into the body of adsorbent. Thus, adsorption changes into absorption. Simultaneous occurrence of absorption and adsorption is called sorption. What is soil analysis? Soil analysis is nothing but a testing of soil. And this testing of soil is used to determine the nutrition and the elements present in that soil. This soil testing generally knows the contents of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. What are the methods of concrete curing? Curing is the process of maintaining the moisture and the temperature conditions for the freshly mixed concrete. The process will be done in a small duration of time for the hardening of concrete. Curing methods are Water curing Membrane curing Application of heat 
wet covering of surface. What is the initial and final setting time of concrete? Initial setting time is the time at which the cement starts its setting. The initial setting time should not be more than 30 minutes as per the IS code, so within that time concrete will be mixed, transported and placed our required place. Final setting time is the time at which cement start gaining its strength. After this final setting time the farm work can be removed. The final setting time should not be more than 10 hours as per the IS code. What are the ratios of grades M5, M7.5, M20, M25? The ratio of grades M5, 1 to 5, 10. M7.5, 1 to 4, colon 8. M10, 1 to 3, colon 6. M15, 1 to 2, colon 4. M20, 1 to 1.5 to 3. M25, 1 to 1 colon 2. What is the minimum size of particles of silt soil? The minimum size of particles of silt soil is 0.002 mm. How the occurrence of mud waves can be rectified during reclamation? There are several solutions to the rectification of the problem of mud waves. Complete removal of all the disturbed mud. This method can be considered to be one of the fastest methods. As soon as the disturbed mud is removed some filling material is used to replace the disturbed mud. But economically this method can be expensive as compared to others. Accelerated consolidation of disturbed mud. In this method surcharging loads are placed on top of the mud waves. Along with this band drains are installed to accelerate the consolidation process. This method is quite slow compared to the other methods. Partial removal of the disturbed mud. This method is the hybrid of the above two methods where the top layer is removed whereas the lower level is treated with the surcharging process. What are the different types of slump test indications? Slump test is the most commonly used method of measuring consistency of concrete. And slump test is not suitable method for very wet or very dry concrete. The different types of slump test are True slump Shear slump Collapse slump If the concrete slump is evenly is called true slump. If one half of the cone slides down it is called shear slump. If the total slump is collapsed due to the mix of the concrete is too wet is called collapse slump. What are the causes of building collapse? The buildings are collapsed due to the weak foundation, and natural disaster such as earthquakes, hurricanes. Sometimes building collapse due to workers' mistakes also. And sometimes the load is more than the expecting load and the weak soil. What is modulus of elasticity? The modulus of elasticity defined as the ratio of pressure applied to the body to the resistance produced by the body and it also defined as the ratio of stress to the resisting strain. The modulus of elasticity is denoted by M. What is the tallest man-made structure in the world? The world's tallest man-made structure is Burj Khalifa, a skyscraper in Dubai reached 828.1 meter tall. It is designed by Adrian Smith who worked with the building's architecture. Define reading. Rigging is the system of ropes, cables, and chains, which support a sailing ship or sailboat's masts so the boat will move in right direction the wind blows. What is absolute pressure? Absolute pressure is the pressure measured above the absolute zero or complete vacuum. Absolute pressure requires pressure and temperature to be in absolute units. Absolute uses absolute zero as its zero point. It uses the terms of UBS. Sometimes absolute pressure is referred to as total system pressure. What do you mean by honeycomb and concrete? Honeycomb and concrete is a air pocket in the concrete or a void. What is the tensile strength of wood? The strength of the wood increases then increases its density. The tensile strength is also depending upon the density of the wood. For example the tensile strength of the spring wood in the line is only one sixth of that of summer wood. 
the compressive strength of the air dry wood is about half of its tensile strength. How many pounds are in the yard? The pound, pound, is the measurement of the weight and yard is the measurement for distance. One cubic yard is equal to the 27 cubic feet. Since dirt weights about 110 pounds per cubic feet, a cubic yard of dirt weights about 2,970 pounds. Since concrete is heavier, 150 pcf, a cubic yard of concrete weights about 4,050 pounds. What is the projection line? The projected length and inclination of a line can be different compared to its true length and inclination on the site. When a line is parallel to a plane, the projection of the line on that plane will be its true length. How do you determine specific gravity of cement? Specific gravity of cement is the ratio of mass of the cement to the mass of the reference substances. Generally the specific gravity of cement is in between the 3.13.16 gram per cubic centimeter. What is the meaning of blue land surveyor's flag? The blue land surveyor's flag is used to indicate the buried water line and the standard color code used by the all utility companies for painting and flags are. Blue indicates the water line. Red indicates the electricity. Yellow indicates the natural gas. Green indicates sewer. Orange indicates telephone or fibers optic line. What is diversion tunnel in dam? Diversion tunnels are the temporary or the permanent tunnels, which can be built for diverting the way of water or something else. These diversion tunnels are used to transfer the water to irrigation purpose or the river flows. These diversion tunnels are mainly used in the underground passageway. What are some facts of concrete? Concrete is the primary material for the many builders. By spraying the water to the concrete then concrete get hardened. Concrete plays a main role in your life because without concrete there wouldn't be in comfortable homes, safe roads, safe traveling. What is unit weight of normal concrete? The unit weight of normal concrete is 145 or 150 pcf. Where pcf, pounds per cubic foot. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Like, share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.